The Great Recession, which happened in 2008, changed the lives of people for good. And once again, as we see now that the economy is hitting rock bottom, it is basically an excellent time to go over some points which can not only help you in your depression, but also make you successful. Nowadays, we can see that inflation has increased up to 40% in recent days, and also interest rates are seen to be going over the roof day by day. Nowadays, the gas prices have increased up to $5 per gallon. The stock market has become a nightmare for investors right now. I'm sure by now you are also unsure about your retirement plans, and you can see that the value of your retirement account is going down day by day. Unsurprisingly, we can also see that cryptocurrencies are also crashing down, and we can now feel that we are in a recession or we are headed toward one. When you think about the last recession, it worries you so much that that telling you to calm down is basically useless at this point because you remember how most people lost their jobs and were in a very critical financial situation. But the fact is, recessions are not here to last forever. As Lindsay Bell says, recessions last for an average of 11 months. Lindsay Bell is the chief market and money strategist for allies. The recent recession was due to the current pandemic, which only lasted about three months. In this video, we will talk about some points which will help us improve our lives in the upcoming recession and make sure we stop worrying about it. Number one, don't get worried about a bear market. I'm sure many of you might not even understand what a bear market is, but somehow all of you are beginning to be terrified of one. The S&P 500 has been shown to enter the bear market this week, which means there is a 20% drop that occurred with the recent high market rates. According to global market strategist from Ameriprise Financial, Anthony Saglambini, an average duration for a bear market lasting is 14 days since the 1950s, adding, if someone is a long-term investor, he should look at this as an opportunity. He said that people should focus on companies having solid balance sheets, cash flow, and products that are demanded and needed by the people. It's an excellent time to use the term dollar cost averaging. The term basically means to keep on investing the same amount of money as you would in a normal situation and not thinking about the market booming upward or going down. As we can see nowadays, the stocks are pressurized, but history shows us that whenever a recession has occurred, the price of stocks has increased gradually. And you might lose this chance if you don't know anything about stocks or the stock market. Anthony also adds, if you have money right now, I I suggest this would be the best time to speak with a well-learned advisor and make a good dollar cost averaging strategy. In the foresight, a person who is slowly buying stocks with time can easily beat a person who is trying to time market dips. 2. Never make an attempt to time the market. There are some people who you might know would like to stop buying stocks or would like to take their money out of stocks until things get better. This idea right here is basically what it means to time the market. But let me tell you the bad news. One can never predict exactly which time is right to invest in the market. The senior economist at Bankrate.com, Mark Hamrick, says, Most people in the world cannot and will not be able to time the market. Even one of the richest men on earth, Warren Buffett, has admitted this in the past. 3. If you have credit card debt, now will be the time to pay it off. Lending Tree's chief credit analyst Matt Schultz says, Anyone who has a credit card, their number one job should be to pay off their debt as soon as they can. And during the time of recession, it is an even more important job because the interest rates are increasing day by day. A loan having low interest or a balanced transfer credit card are the two options you have in case of debt. Transferring a debt having a high interest rate to a credit card having a 0% interest rate is a key to getting out of debt fast. If you're not qualified for a 0% credit card, you should call your credit card issuer and request an interest reduction. About 70% of the people that called to get one got one just last year. Unfortunately, many people lack the knowledge and understanding, according to Schultz. 4. Save money in advance. 
While you're having extra cash now, we suggest that you should be saving in case of a financial breakdown. If you don't already have an emergency fund, we suggest that you should cancel any plans which can come in the way of you saving money at this time, such as a fancy vacation or if you were thinking about any renovation or construction projects. If you don't want to be in debt and don't want to lose your wages and your job, you should try to keep up with the ongoing inflation. Also, the advice which almost every one of us have gotten as some point in our lives that there should be an emergency fund for at least three months might not be enough in this situation five there should be a backup for your emergency fund in addition to having emergency funds you should also have a backup for your emergency funds because one never knows what can happen at any time so it's better to be safe than sorry and to have all your safety covered six don't underestimate the importance of bonds in your retirement portfolio. Bonds are the key to your balance whenever the stock market is down. But in recent times, as we have seen, the bond prices are also suffering. Bonds beat every other market product in the previous recessions, according to Benz. She says in simple words, don't try to toss them away just now thinking they are useless right now because they are an important portfolio characteristic, specifically for those of you that are retired or near to retirement. 7. Try to get a second job. Now, as we can see that the unemployment rate is at about 3.6%, there are many vacancies available. According to the Labor Department, people are needed in the transportation, leisure, warehousing, education, health, and hospitality departments more now than ever. According to Hamrick, unemployment is going to rise even more in the coming time. If you don't need the money right now, you can save it for later because you never know when a recession might hit, so it's better to start early and be safe in the future. Where a lot of people might be worried about the next day or the next hour, you can relax and enjoy your time with your family. 8. While your competition is relaxing, you need to grow. A recession is actually the best time to acquire such resources to beat your competition. Because the most important resource one has is his hard work and talent which is available to you more now than ever. While there is still a lack of talent, we can see it more in the technology sector nowadays. Some companies cut new projects and minimize employee salaries and other bonuses and luxuries as they see a fall in the stock market. The same talented employees then find extra bonuses and luxuries when they have their own startup or when they look for new employment opportunities. This is also a very good time to buy stocks of those companies which have currently hit rock bottom. Some of the major biotechnology companies are now available at very cheap prices, quite a bit less than what they usually cost. So as a result of this, a company such as Big Pharma has increased its investments in technologies such as apps and also wearables. This time is also very important to attract dissatisfied customers who are cutting back from competitor companies. That would be all for today, guys. If you liked our video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for any new updates. See you in the next one.